disclaimer, David Bowie will not be appearing in this level. Welcome back to Game Wolf Plays Hot Ick. We're going to eat to M6 the Labyrinth. And uh, that should be a hint as to what to next boss, the boss of episode 2 is, or bosses, so to speak, since I'm at a higher difficulty. I've also hinted that by the title of this video. And I had to record this more than once due to an interruption, but what I mean is the, uh, at the time of this video, we had a big friggin' hurricane, which means a flood warning, which means my phone goes off with the ambient alerts, and I'm not one to turn those off, so I just bit the bullet. Anyway. First, we'll start from shooting for the windows. Man, though, I hate getting interrupted all the time. It's like, this is the easiest part where I just have to say stuff, and it's just like, oh, yeah, let's make him waste a good, uh, day doing something which only takes, like, three hours at a time. I don't know, man. I'm not even surprised how people have jobs in this climate. Whatever. Uh, so we got globules of grass poison, next to ices of water ice, next to fires of ground fire. It's a whole menagerie of Pokemonatical elements. I have no idea. Why did you- Why is it like this? Back with the claw orb. Zzz. Going to the aforementioned labyrinth in a moment. I'm just gonna get rid of these saber claws on ice! Is that wonderful? Yes! I've got the twin bomb of the ancients that I never frickin' use. Who even wants that shit anyway? It's useless! Useless, I tell you! Actually, it's not so much useless, it's just overshadowed by everything else. Okay. I guess use some of the hell staff, since the saber claws going to backstab me and do the whole Brutus thing to my Kaiser. Yes, it's pronounced Kaiser. Time boom of the ancients. You think that's what an ancient bomber man would have? It's just hourglasses. I was thinking about a freeware game, which is like a 3D bomber man, and how annoying that would actually be without having a top-down view. Some of the bats are scurrying out of the maze. They don't like their calling in life, which is to just wander around aimlessly. And make 100% monster kills a living hell. That's their job. They make up for it by being weak asses. So we're going to have to go in the, into the little maze because that's where the yellow key is. If you see all these corners, by the way, they all have goodies inside them. And they open when you go through the doors. Thus, that first reward being the gauntlets. Very good early on to get them, especially if you just want to shove your hands into bat faces up in the maze. Although I don't recommend it, since they have projectiles, but hey, it could work. Actually, no, I probably wouldn't recommend doing on Saber Claws, because they will fucking rip you to shreds. Some of these guys are fighting each other. I don't know. I think the gargoyles end up fighting each other the most, because... There's usually a bunch of them, and they're trying to aim for me in places where they don't need to be. So they end up invariably hitting themselves. That's the one thing. If you make a slaughter map, the enemies are going to hit each other. That's kind of how you deal with it. It, just bec it becomes Tim Conway's The Game of Life, but in demon form. Now we get the... Uh, there's a, did I get the crossbow? Yeah, there's a crossbow in here. There's a yellow key in here, and there's also a quartz flask in here. This level's got plenty of quartz flasks, because the forts clask. It's kind of weird how you drink out of the quartz flask, by the way, because it's like, am I drinking rocks? If I'm drinking rocks, I should be a dwarf, not an elf. I'm an elf, I drink trees. It's the dwarves that drink rocks. But yeah, quartz flask. Also, it's purple, so who knows? Usually, I think of health potions as being red. You know, to signify blood being life. That kind of thing. We're gonna go out through the yellow door area, and it's gonna be a city place with a big tree and more globules. The globuloids, the globuloids, from the center of the earth. Holy shit, that's scary. Okay. Mage power. That 
drag ooh, a bag of holding ruin. That dragon claw I won't be able to get until I teleport after getting the green key. It's in just the dumb spot that it's not worth flying to. Just get it the normal way, you dick. Dick. Ah, feel the mighty indignation of the heretic. Which, you know, is really the right name for this. It's not heretic guy. And if not Corvus, then the heretic actually works really well. Yes, really. In my single title video games. <laughs> Okay, so we go around this circle place. Uh, we're gonna fall down. Get the wings of wrath before falling down in case for some reason you want to fly over the ice area. Which you might. I think I've done that in some playthroughs of this level. Just because ice physics be annoying. So, if you're trying to just forget about the ice physics in this level, just use the wings. Otherwise, I don't think that you use the wings on this level. I don't think. Maybe I use them? Rockets are hell stabs. There's clusters. It's ice. I want them dead. I like how when I fire the hell stab, it's just using the very edges of my wand. Also, in some source ports, you get to see the whole spray of the weapon because, uh, I don't know why people do this, but they like to cut out the huds so that they're really tiny. I don't much care for that. I like having the whole hud. Although, this one admittedly is not that useful. Uh, like, build engine games have a lot better HUDs. Because there's just so much shit to keep track of. But this game is more like, um, you know, because, uh... I guess this weird, weird health thing at the bottom with the chains, where the red thing marks how much health I have, and it starts going down if, as I lose some. Until it goes all the way to the left, and death! That's why there's a more skull face on the left there. Because it represents death. Bet you didn't think of that before, did you? Oh my god, he's stuck! Okay, green key. We're out of here! Oh. Well, I don't think I got the threat. It doesn't matter. I'm full of ammo, but that's how you would do it. Clunk. Also, there's also a window you'll open next to the blue door, but I recommend saving that for later. So that you don't wake up the monsters. They're sleepy. Tomb of Power, that's your reward for the green corner. And in the green corner! Uh, yeah, it's like f fucking three-way boxing match. A Mexican standoff boxing? Mixed with Australian doubles? I don't know. If you're wondering about Australian doubles, it's two on one. I only know that because I did that with the bat... Batman? No, wait. Was it Badminton? Was it the other one? Wimbledon. Oh, it was Badminton, because I used the Shuttercock. <laughs> also, it's called the Shuttercock. That's hilarious. Yeah, usually in these videos, it's either I'm going to have past anecdotes, future anecdotes for what I'm going to do, but, you know, kind of a little resentful of what I'm talking about sometimes to date the video, but also give it some pizzazz. Because, you know, um, not every space needs to be filled. I make an exception here. The big reason it has to do with the age rating policies. In fact, it's the only reason. The second reason is because, uh, games I like to play aren't falling neatly into my long play guidelines when I'm doing segments. That was it. Yep, it takes literally two lines of logic to get me to speak more often. Can you imagine? And I didn't even used to speak that much in the first place. This is probably the most I've spoken all year. Oh no! Those two gargoyles were stuck. It's like that one scene in Hypercube. The two lovers died because time went too fast. I try not to think about that scene, but I just did! Did you kill the layer dragons? That's nice. Oh, I hope no more Ember Alerts go off. Let's start using some Fire Mace. Yeah. I haven't used it in a bit, and also, I have. S there's so much ammo. I think I should use some. Plus, the one hit kills with the Tomb of Power is just too fucking good. 
as if the game wasn't easy enough here. Don't worry though, level designers will shake things up! Like they usually do. You place your pieces, you make your board, and then you screw with it. <laughs> yeah, see, the one hit killed. The enchanted shield! Oh yeah! Hang on, that's a secret door! Oh! Oh my god, he, he violently spazzed outside. That's incredible. So yeah, there was a phoenix rod hiding at the start. Can you believe it? Or not! By Ellen Ripley's Believe It or Not, Aliens. Alright, that recording was worth it for that joke alone. I just hope it doesn't go to shit! Open the blue door. What is the blue door award, though? Also, golems. That's right, I haven't seen them for a bit. They just show up, inexplicably. Same with the Undead Knights. Ah, that Ring of Invincibility. I suspect that there may be an Iron Lich in my future. Yes, I think he's behind the stained glass window. I do believe that is what's going to happen. Uh, I'm wasting too much wand. Let's just shoot these golems that are on the corners like that. Of course, if they drop ammo, I can't get it. Unless I really want to fly with my wings of wrath for some reason like that. Uh... Okay, here we go. Looks like I've decided with to use that. Kill him before he fires the tornado. Excellent. Plus, there's another Phoenix rod there. Anything I missed? Maybe some ammunition? Looks like I'm good to go. I guess. I have to think about it for a second. Oh, do you think there's something else I missed? Some ammo around the perimeter? Oh, right, the window I completely forgot about, which has a morph over and a silver shield in it. But I guess the silver shield is useless there, since I have the enchanted shield, which I didn't suspect would run out that quickly from whence I got it. So, yeah, not, not the most useful secret in the world at, at that time. That's the price of easiness, though. So now that we've done with the labyrinth, we're going to wonder where the sequel is, or maybe we'll, like, play a level that's called Dark Crystal or some shit. I'm feeling the 80s puppets right now. See you next time when we enter the penultimate level of episode 2. It's gonna get real. See ya.